hi it's future from somet welcome to my channel please be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so that next time i upload new videos you'll be notified about them so i'm gonna be doing that manipulation today and i'll be using the pivot method so join me as we do that that manipulation is the process of moving that from one position to another on the bodice block without changing the feet i'm gonna be using a two dart bodice block as you can see so the only thing you have to make sure of when you're using a two dart bodice block is that both the darts meet at the bust point so make sure that all your darts will pass through the bust point that's how the shape will be maintained and the feet as well i'm gonna start by showing you a few classic positions we have for the dart so this is the waist dart this is center front waist dart this is the center front bust dart this is the center front neck dart neck dart neck shoulder dart mid shoulder dart shoulder tip dart armhole dart side bust dart and the french dart moving on in this lesson i'm going to be showing you one method which is the pivot method so the things you need to achieve this are the ruler you need a pin to use for the pivoting and you also need a pencil but for me i'm gonna be using a marker so that it's easier for you to see what i'll be doing be sure to stick around until the end of the video because at the end i'll show you how to do these darts so this is style number one we're going to be moving both darts to the shoulder tip first thing we do is to place the pin on the bus point this will allow us to pivot the pattern around and then you have to choose where you want to send your dart to which is the shoulder tip in our case it doesn't matter which direction you take either clockwise or anti-clockwise to pivot these darts you just have to remember where you started and that's the same position you have to end for this first one i'm gonna go clockwise okay press the armhole press the side seam until you get to the first leg of the bust dart then pivot your pattern to close it continue tracing the side seam Press the waistline until you get to the first leg of the waist dart pivot it again then continue tracing the rest of the pattern until you get to our starting point right here okay remove your pattern make sure to mark where the bust point is draw in your dart legs okay what you have to remember now is that you have to move away about 1.5 to 2 centimeters from the bust point because if you saw your dart to exactly where the bust point is you end up having a pointy shape on the bust point which is very unflattering okay so move backwards 1.5 to 2 centimeters and then you reconnect your dart legs like what i'm doing here now to that same point that we just moved okay so at the end i'll show you how to throw these darts so that's our first pattern done style number two we are gonna make a french dart out of our two dart bodies block place your bodies block put your pin on the bus point and choose the location where we're sending our dart to now which is right here and then we we trace around the bodies from this location waist point first leg of the dart pivot to close finish off the worst go to the center front neckline shoulder armhole side seam 
to the first leg of the side that pivoted to close and finish off drawing until we get to our point right here. Now lift the pattern, mark the bust point again and draw in your dart legs. Back off from the bust point 1.5 to 2 centimeters and reconnect your dart legs again. Okay, we have now moved our dart to the French dart position. Our next tile needs for us to move both darts to the side bust dart. As you can see on our bodies block, we've got the side bust dart already. So what it means is we're gonna shift the value of this dart into this same position, okay? So we do the same thing again, place your block and place your pin. So we can pivot with it. Just choose which dart leg you wanna start with. If you start with the top one, you have to go anti-clockwise. If you start with the bottom one, you have to go clockwise. So the choice is yours. For me, I'll start with the bottom one and trace around the block until I get to the first leg of the waist dart. Pivot it closed. Continue tracing around the block. until I get to the first leg of the bust dart, okay? Remove my pin, remove my pattern. Make sure to mark your bust point clearly. And draw your dart legs. Back off from the bust point again by 1.5 to 2 centimeters and redraw your dart legs. Okay. We have moved both darts to the side bust now. Next time, uh, we're gonna be moving both darts to the armhole. Place your pin, choose where you want your dart to go, which is the armhole this time. And then we trace around the body's block. First leg of the bust dart, pivot to close, continue tracing around the block. First leg of the waist dart, pivot to close. Finish off tracing the whole block until you get to our first position, okay? Which is just here. Remove your block. Mark the bus point. Draw in the dart legs. Back off by 1.5 to 2 centimeters and redraw your dart legs. That's it there, we've moved our dart to the armhole. For the next tile, we're moving both darts to the mid shoulder. Place your pin, choose where you want to put your new dart and trace around the block. First leg of the dart, pivot and close. West line, first leg of the west dart, pivot and close. And continue tracing around the block until you get to the mid shoulder position where we started. Just here, okay? Lift your part in. Mark your bust point. Draw in your dart legs. Back off from the bust point 1.5 to 2 centimeters and redraw your dart legs. So that's about it. That's the same concept you use with all your darts. I'm going to show you two ways in which you can use to complete your darts. So the first one that I actually prefer is the one to add seam allowance because I guess with the two darts in one, this becomes very big to just fold inside the garment. So I prefer this method more than the other one. So I'll show you both anyway and you choose what's good for you. And since I'm using a half block, I'll use 
0.5 centimeters instead okay Just like that, and then you just continue your line. And, then, and your dart is done. The second method, you need to know where your dart is supposed to fall to, okay? So we're using the armhole dart this time, and with the armhole dart, we know that our intake is supposed to go downwards. So what you do, you take the second leg of the dart here and make sure you join it to the first leg. Use your tracing wheel to just trace around this position here so that we can transfer our markings afterwards when we open this thing. Okay. So now you can see where the dotted lines are and you can just trace along those lines. And we have trued our dots. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and press the notification bell.